Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to the Vintage Story Guide. We are back in the world on this wintry day. We're getting towards spring though, but we are still seeing negative temperatures. After last episode where we did a few touch-ups on the house, culminating in, I think, my favorite little feature yet, that is this little chip in a bottle on our wall here. I am just so tickled with this, and I hope you all are as well. Now, between episodes, I wanted to stock up on our smithing supplies, and so I went on a big coal run, and we now have a bit of coal. I went and got the anthracite that's down in our chalk area on the opposite side of that translocator, and I went to the sort of claystone area just south of our salt mine, where I was able to get a lot of brown coal and a lot of black coal. And some of that has already gone to use into making some more iron blooms, processing iron, and so on and so forth. And I've just been restocking, got our hammers here, and repairing things. And speaking of repairing, before we get started on today's episode, I think we need to repair our clothing because I realized I was freezing the other day. And it turns out that most of our clothing is now heavily worn. So let's get some of this and get some linen because this will give us 50% of our durability on our clothing which will bring us to, what, 88%-ish? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I will repair the mask, too, which will bring us up to 100%. And now we are not out of cloth. Look at that. Magically, we have linen again. Imagine that. Now, I did want to say, while I was getting the black coal, I was getting a lot of readings of sulfur. 3.3, 2.9... But despite that, I found a quadruple, and I mean quadruple, deposit of sulfur. There were literally four separate disks all in a row, just like lovely bunches of coconuts. And we have more sulfur than we will ever need <laughs> in this series. I mean, a stack would have been fine. We have seven. <laughs> so we are good forever on sulfur. Never, ever, ever need to mine it again. And by the way, just in case you wanted to see what sulfur looks like in the world... I do have a block here that I relieved, and that is what you will see. So you'll have the stone and then just very bright yellow bits. So pretty easy to spot, and you will find it in sedimentary rock. So claystone and chalk and limestone, all that kind of stuff can house sulfur. Now, for today's episode, I was thinking we could either take out this set of armor or possibly this one and go on a bit of a caving expedition. We want to see if we can find some saw blade locusts as well as some locust nests in order to break down for their Jonas parts and their Jonas sub-assemblies. But before we get to that, I wanted to touch on something that I don't think most YouTubers who do these kinds of episodes, or these kinds of series will tend to cover. And that is how, how you can open up your world to multiplayer. And we'll just touch on it a little bit here because this series really isn't a multiplayer series. But I thought it would be good because I have played some Vintage Story with friends before, and it can be quite fun and rewarding. Now, you do have some options when it comes to setting up your game to play with friends. You can, of course, rent a server from, say, G Portal or some similar service where you pay a monthly fee and you get your server, and you and your friends all connect to the same server. That's one option. You can also, if you are lucky enough like myself to have an extra PC sitting around, you can have that server or that PC run the game server and then you and your friends connect to it. The biggest difference being most that you get to control all the server's aspects and its uptime and downtime, and it can be in your home. And both of those are great options. I have done the latter. I have run servers on computers I have at home, and it tends to work great, even for up to, say, 10 or 12 people. Works really well as long as you have a reasonably fast computer and a reasonably fast or rather low latency internet. The third option is one that I think people tend to sleep on because it's yeah, a little bit less reliable and it requires the host, the person who runs and owns the world, to be online for friends to play. And that is where you open up your own game to your local area network and then from there to the internet. Let's just quickly go over how that works. So if you press the escape key to bring up the menu, you will see here an open to LAN button. If you click that, it'll take a moment, it'll say confirm, hey, you're going to allow other players in your local network to connect to you. That means that people who are basically in your house, on your Wi-Fi, or if you're really old school, they're hooked up to your Ethernet 
ports, then they will be able to connect to your game. Go ahead and confirm. It will start up the game as a server. And you'll see that although we are in the pause menu, the game is still running. So beware, you are now in permanent forever unpaused mode until you save and close the game and restart it, at which point it will start it back up in regular single player mode. And to reopen your game for friends to play with you, you do have to go through this process again. But what if your friends don't live, you know, with you or they're not over for a sleepover or just a hangout? What do you do then? Well, you go back into the menu here and you can press the open to internet button. And this will give you another warning. Do you want to allow other remote players to connect to your server? And upon confirmation, blah, 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 technical jargon. The important thing is that you want to uncheck this unless you want to just let anybody in. So uncheck that and that way you can give your external IP address to your friends and set up your router correctly and then they can go ahead and join. Go ahead and confirm. And you can see now that down in this corner we have UPnP mode now on, advertise mode set to off. If your router is extra smart, it should say hosting internet game at and then something that's not 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. It'll be like 172. Dot something something dot something something and people can connect to it. Now, if you don't want people just connecting to your game willy-nilly, you can always set up a password. So you can open up your chat, you can do server config password, and then whatever your password is going to be. Like Hunter 2, obviously. And if you're playing with friends, you might also want to disable things like PvP, so that you don't accidentally smack them while you're just mining or trying to attack the same drifters and you're in close quarters. You can always do the same thing. Server config, allow PvP, false. Hit enter, and I'll say PvP mode set to off. And now, you and your friends, once they connect to you, can join in your games, and you can go adventuring and building together, and just generally having a good time. Now here's a technical part that I may not be able to help you with entirely, and that is you'll probably have to forward the port 42420 in your router. There is a small chance that Vintage Story might just connect for you without you having to do anything advanced in your router's network settings, but you may have to do it yourself. And I can't really guide you because your router is going to look different. It could look like this in the interface, or like this, or this, or this. You get the idea. There are lots of different things, but if you do an internet search for the name of your router and the model number, and then port forwarding, you can probably find out how to do it that way. And if you have a wireless router and then a modem that has port forwarding, you'll probably have to do the port forwarding on the modem. But everyone's setup is of course different, so your mileage may vary greatly. Now, what about connecting to a server for another friend's multiplayer session? What if you're on the other end and you are not the owner of the world? Well, let's get into that for a minute. So if you are not the host, i.e. your friend has a world and you're going to join them, you're going to click on the multiplayer option here and you're going to add a new server. And here you can type a name for your server. You can call it, you can call it let's say friends server. And then you're going to put in their IP address. So we're going to pretend we do 100 dot 30 dot 20 dot 10 and that could be one of the IP addresses it's not mine but it could be one and I don't think you need to but you may have some luck if you do a colon and then 42420 to tell it to look at the right port or well, the video story should just do this automatically and then if your friend has set up their server with any kind of password go ahead and put it in just like that and make sure that of course the same letters that are capitalized in what they send you are capitalized in your password here. And then you can create, and I won't do that here because we really can't connect to anything, but once you do, it'll show up in this menu and you can connect to it. In the recent versions of Vintage Story, it'll also go and reach out and it will download all of the required mods from the server in order for you to play your game with your friends. So no need to juggle around different zip files full of mods, just go hit the server and it'll do it all for you. And that, as I say, is that. I hope this little lesson has given you some insight into how to set up your own multiplayer instance to play with some friends, as well as how to connect to other people if they are the ones hosting the world. Well, everyone, let's go ahead and get our things together for heading out into the wide world. And we're gonna sit over here and do we wear the steel armor or do we wear the forlorn hope armor? I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Well, this is less protective, sure, but what? But hello? What? What just happened? There's someone's on my server, Rakuna. 
That guy? Uh, uh, what the hell? Where am I? Um, what is this? I, I don't know. Where, where are you? Uh, someone down in a cave. I can't see all that much. Oh, wait. There's a, there's a lantern over here. H how did you even get here? Uh, I I don't know. Rick just kind of told me to go to the translocator. He had a surprise for me. So uh, here here I am. Uh, how, how did, where am I? Where did that translocator take me? Uh, well, uh, this is... Uh, have you heard of me? My name's Kurazar. Hi. Hi. Oh, one. hey. Uh, Hi. I, uh, nice mask. Um, thank you. Um, do, do I need to have my sword out here for you? Like, are, are you gonna are you gonna steal my stuff and eat my chickens, or or are you are you friendly? Uh, I think I'm friendly for most parts. Are you an ogre? Are you an orc in disguise or something like that? Uh, no, no, I, I've got I've got a real face. See, real face. Oh, oh, hi. Uh, with uh, with a really bad that? hood on. There we go. Are you a king or something? Or uh, I am actually. Or... I, I'm the Hobbit king. I rule oh, over the Hobbit king. Yeah, I rule over all my subjects here. All the um, all the people. Yep, all the people who live here. Every last one of them. Uh, I am their uh, leader, and they follow my every order. Oh, okay. That well, that it's great. Yeah, w with that out of the way, I mean, um, I guess. Uh, well, I was about to do an episode about caving and fighting things. Interested in coming along for the ride? Hey, if it involves squirreling, I'm up for it. Uh, might just need a little bit of a uh, of, of gear because uh. I don't think everything came through. I, I think I'm, like, mostly naked. Oh, yeah, well, the, the quantum tunneling effect and the, you know, all that stuff. It, it just kind of makes things go a little haywire, and are you sure? Whoa, you have a raccoon in your hands. Uh, I, I have a... Rick? Is that you? What the... What happened to you? Uh, well, I, I guess he can't talk. Yeah, usually Rick talks a lot. Oh, he seems pretty docile. I've never been able to catch one of those in my hands before. Uh, yeah, well, he's my editing raccoon, but, uh, since he's here with me, I don't know who's going to do the editing. Oh, Ugh. well, I'm not doing it for you. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have some extra work to do. Yeah. Okay. So let's get you situated with a bit of food first, right? Um, so here's a bowl of some grub here on the, on the counter here. Almost like it was set there for you or something. Oh, no, weird. that was, that is weird. Uh, yeah. Meat stew with boiled cabbage and pink apples. Oh, yeah. That sounds delicious. Why don't Much, you take uh, a couple better... of these uh, crocs here, too? Um, and so what all did you come here with? I mean, I saw you had a bow. Do you have a sword or a shield or uh, you don't have any armor, looks like? I have nothing. I, I All I got is a brick and, a, well, I got a lantern and a recurved bow, and that's, a, that's about it. Okay, well, let's get you outfitted then, and we can get on our way. All right. Follow me. So, welcome to uh, Shay Kurazar. This is the Hobbit House. Yeah, I think I should have you come into my world and uh, do a little bit of decoration because my house looks crappy compared to this. Wait, I can get to your world? How? You're some kind of wizard, aren't you? Uh, no, I don't have that mod installed, but was planning to maybe on the next season. M mod? What is he talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah, I know. I get that reaction a lot from uh, <laughs> from my other characters. Uh, let's not go into that. Okay. This talk about characters has me really concerned that I'm living a story that someone else is writing, and I don't like it. I don't like this feeling. It's making me think and have feelings. Now you got you, you got to push those down. You got to push those down and bury them. Oh, I'm really good at that. <laughs> All right. So hey, look at that. Uh, cut, yeah. Dies. So I happen to have just made a bunch of mordanted cloth, almost as if someone knew you were coming. It's it's like really fortuitous that like. There's just so much stuff ready for you, like, off the get-go. Maybe you felt like somebody was going to come soon. Yeah, I don't know. Would you like some kind of gambeson to wear? I have a literal rainbow here. I have uh, pink and red and orange and yellow. You can't be purple. Purple's kind of my shtick in uh, this world. No, I'll be UPS Brown. Uh, UPS give give Brown? me UPS Brown. Yeah, okay. I want to look like that. Well, there we go. Whatever UPS is. Anyway, we have to wait about eight hours, but then we can go ahead and... I think I didn't need to actually put more than a cloth in there. Oh, well. Aside from that, Ed, is there anything I'm going to need? Like a melee weapon or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I've got a few. I've got a fair few. There's a steel falc sitting right here, if you would like that. Ooh. I'm going to take the tuning spear, since I'm a clockmaker, and I can use that to maybe make us a few friends while we're out there, if we come across any locusts. But I've got a veritable smorgasbord board of shovels and pickaxes, axes, and so on at your service. Temporarily. Well, 
temporarily. Yeah, since since we're going to be going into caves, I think I might grab like one of each just in case since my old my own tools didn't make it through. That's fine. And it looks like you're a you're a hunter, aren't you? Indeed I am. The best hunter in the land. Really? I wonder how I knew you were a hunter. Very strange. Would you like any of these spears to go with your bow, or would you prefer just to have like a sword to go? Well, you have the sword already. Yeah, I got a sword. I got some arrows. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much set with what I have. Uh, all I need basically is the armor, and that's it. Okay. Well, excuse me while I eat a big bite of lunch in front of you. It's been oh, that... cold in a bowl all day. It's like really You, ma you made really a awkward. mess. Look at that. Oh, whoa, shoot. Whoa, whoa. I think it, it sank into the ebony slab. That's okay. Well, that's, that's good. It. It's a self-cleaning floor. It's new technology. You know, if I was going to go into another world, uh, why did it still have to be winter here as well? Why, well, I think everything's all synced up, right? We're in the same time zone, right? Yeah, pretty much. I was pretty much getting into, yeah, February, so... Yeah, <laughs> oh, see? look exactly. at that. Isn't that sweet? Oh, That's, thank you. That looks dope. Yeah, let me tell you, getting that ship into that bottle with that tiny, tiny little bottleneck on there, don't ask how I did it. Just don't. Yeah. It's, it's are magic. You, uh, are, are you magic? Uh, well, I'm a hobbit, which... Wait, now I'm a hobbit. See? I'm very short. Yeah, I, I can I can do that, too. I'm very short and very slow. While your light armor is still a work in progress, we do need to discuss maybe... We're going to be going pretty deep, so you might want to have some heavy armor on you anyway. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I have two choices. There's either this set of steel plate mail, which is very protective but very slowing... I also have this Forlorn Hope set over here, which I wore into the Resonance Archive about a year and change ago. And I can tell you it is in pretty good shape. I fixed up the breastplate. Everything else is in tip-top shape almost. And it's basically a full set ready to use. Ooh, nice. Uh, does it have a lot of penalties on, uh, you know, using a bow? Uh, both of them do, but the Forlorn Hope is a bit less. Then I shall use that set. I have one at home as well, except it's not fixed. Well, go ahead and uh, you can pull those off there. And you might yeah, want to just hang do. on to them until you need them. And I do have this shield for you, though. So that is yours to use if you would like it. So uh, what, what do you need me to help you find in these uh, caves or whatever you're doing? Well, basically, whatever we find is what we find. We're going to go through a bunch of different caves and fight off enemies, and look for goodies in there. Ooh, goodies. I always like the goodies. Yeah, of particular interest, we are looking for, I think you call them saw butts. Especially. Saw butts, indeed. Yeah. I hate those. Yeah, I they're, really they're hate pretty those. nasty. Luckily, our armor is going to be really handy in helping us defeat them. No, you're, you're going to have to remove that cat mask if you're going to wear the armor, because it kind of goes through... <laughs> <laughs> does it now? <laughs> yeah, it does. We can put the cat mask on a rack somewhere then, for the time yeah, being. Yeah, yeah. yeah for the episode, maybe. Now, look there at... There we go. That looks Don't better. you look badass? Oh, thank you. And uh, how, how do I look with this thing, right? And I get the sword? Positively regal. Ooh, I, I look like a tin can. So, if we're going to be going adventuring deep, scary places, you might want to have some bandages so have a stack of these guys oh thank you and do you have arrows and backpacks yeah, and so i currently have uh, backpacks and a lot of iron arrows somehow i was brought into this world with a stack of them weird it's uh, what somehow my iron arrows have been transmogrified into a stack of copper arrows what the heck weird. Uh, magic yeah. hobbit magic seriously let's make you a bed so we can sleep through the night and um Get to the morning, get to your armor, and then be on our way. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's in a separate room than yours, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, I snore. I yeah, snore. can you have a bed for Rick as well? For Rick? Uh, you're Really? He can sleep at my feet. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, we could make a bed where he could sleep with the chickens. Wait, no. Raccoons and chickens who eat their eggs, won't they? Uh, He eats anything. Oh, nothing is safe. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's... Uh... It's time, right? Yeah, let's uh, let's go hop in bed. Out. Good night. I'll, I'll close the door yep. here. There you go. Yep. Thank you. And uh, a little bit of privacy. Yeah. Yep. And, and don't. Um, uh, if you need to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, uh, just go outside in the snow, and then just beware what snow you use for your tea in the morning. Up. Uh, fine. Fine. All right. Maybe yeah. I'm gonna wake up back in my world. This must be a freaking nightmare. A nightmare. Nightmare. I heard that. 
<laughs> Good night. Good night. Um, hey, Kurzar? Uh, yes, good morning, good morning. Hey! Let's, uh, um, hi. You, you yeah. still exist, strange. Uh, yeah, and I'm still here, somehow. Yeah? Uh, is that uh, a bad thing? I mean, I, I like my uh, house. I think my house is a wonderful place to be in. No, actually, I think we should switch worlds. Oh, should we now? <laughs> well, you're the expert on that. It looks like uh, your uh, brown cloth is done here. Do you want to do the honors, oh. or shall I? Uh, I, I think I shall do it. Uh, do I need some uh, some sewing kits for that? Yeah, I can show you where those are. There's your brown cloth. Okay. You can yeah, get a stack all, of I'm... sticks from this box up here on the upper right. And then over here in the flax and cloth box, we have some flax twine for you. Should be plenty in there. Okay. Oh, you know what else you might want? I have it's almost here... like you're really familiar with this. Yeah, like I've done it before once or twice. Here's a stack know, of ladders, right? too, to go with everything you've got. Uh Oh, that, that'll be great. Thank there you. There we go. Well, let's be off. I think we're, we're actually not going to go very far, so if we need to come back to get some more food or whatever, or more healing items, we certainly can. Because we're just going to go through our transicators here, and then kind of do some exploring on the other sides of them. I think you're lucky to have so many translocators just right underneath your base, because uh, where I am from, uh, they, they are quite far away. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's a bit nutty here, to be honest. Like, it's really excessive, is the word, I think. Now, I don't recall mm. if there's a cave on the other side of this one, but let's go find out. All right. I'll see you there. See you later. Uh, I you always are. feel like I need a shower after I've been under that drippy thing. Yeah, it kind of gets in your hair and everything. Okay, should we armor up right now? or? Uh, I'm going to, because I'm a little squishy. I have fewer... I have less experience with this kind of thing, you know, just uh, lack of practical experience, you know? All right, uh, see. you go ahead. Uh, yeah, you go on in front of me, and uh, I'll be behind you with okay. a bow. I'm just going to zap this. We should test to see if we can smack each other or not. Uh, smack. Uh, ow, I, th I think. No, 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 not ow. Feel good? But, like no. a light tap on the uh, shoulder? Well, I mean, it's not, it doesn't feel great, but it's not hurting or anything. Well, that's good. You want to try it on me? Make sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just. Um, that just well, sort that of just... bounced off me. Wow. Well, I'm wearing that's full a... armor, so. Well, that's that's a great armor, yeah. I gotta say. Thank you. Quite impressed. Let's see. I think there's a bit of a cave up this way. If we bust through here, I have a shovel. So you've been here many times and you never went to explore the caves? Uh, at least not this cave. I kind of got well, my fill I mean, exploring a cave closer to home, so, you know. <laughs> Let's see. We can either well, go this way or down. Well, you lead the way. Okay. Well, I have no idea what we're going to find here. So, I do uh, hear sounds. Rocks. I do hear sounds. Oh, uh, there's a rock. Speaking of rocks. Oh. Nice. Nope, that one's done. I will try oh, not I to don't... pick up your arrows. Yeah, you go ahead and you, uh, I don't know if you're the one that's going to skin them alive or something. Well, oh, no. skin them dead, I guess. I just leave them. Well. Oh, okay. That was fun. Let's go home. Episode over. Well, the adventure is over. Back to where I came from. Thanks for coming, everybody. And as always, my yep. name has been Korazar. And I'm Rakuna. Okay, actually, there was a, <laughs> I saw another platform up here we can try. It might oh, be the same another thing. Platform. Yeah, I saw this up above here. Oh, hey, check it out. We got something here. Right behind you. Oh, ruins. Yeah. I don't oh, nice. think I've been here before. Uh, well, let's go There's still and stuff check it in out. here. Yeah, there's rusty well, gears. There's... This you, is a you need those or... trip. Yeah, absolutely. I buy stuff with these things. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, I get I get a lot of them from all the goblins that were around my home. Goblins? What are those? Uh, goblins and... Yeah, they're... they're kind of creatures that uh, come and be a pain in my butt. Uh, that and treants and uh, or orcs. I thought those were all just fairy tales. I've never seen one of those myself. Not where I'm from. Oh, right. They're, You're from they're another all over world. the dark place. You're from a very unfortunate world then. Yeah, well, there's dragons as well. well that sounds even worse. Actually, it's not that bad having dragons, because uh, if you manage to kill them, uh, you, you get a nifty reward. Lots, lots of gold. Oh, is it like they're like a ransom or do they explode in a loot pinata? Uh, uh, you just skin them like you would any other creature. 
I would love if they would explode in a pinata fashion and drop all sorts of things, but uh, it's not the case. Those poor dragons. Oh, dirt works too. Thank well, you. Well, they try to burn down my house, uh, but I can. I'm very capable of doing that on my own. Ah, uh, I've heard. I've heard tales. <laughs> I hear there's some coal up there. I'm gonna mark some of these uh, deposit map, yeah, but we won't. Uh, we won't spend time digging them out. I don't think. Oh, look at that guy trying to climb up. He just fell down. That's oh well. My. I mean, we got a couple of ways we can go here. Yeah, I'm also gonna wanna, kill you, this water here real quick. Boop. Are you seeing sunlight? I'm seeing sunlight. Yeah, over there, but that's not where we want to go. We want to go deeper. True. Down in the abyss. Let's go to the left there. Uh, okay. Your armor is uh, very noisy. If you, I don't know if you're trying to be stealthy, but uh, that's not going to be possible. What? I can't hear you over the sound of my armor. Uh, exactly. My point taken. What? Okay. Well, this seems to go back up in a spirally stairway. Almost as if someone built this place. Very strange. This world is just yeah, full of weird holes uh, and caves and things and dead ends. Yeah, well, yeah, many, many dead ends because there's nothing up here. Well, there were many other possible ways. I think maybe two two more, two through more. I mean, two of them leading up, but uh, there's a there's a dark abyss down here. Dark abysses sound safe. Let's do that. Oh, there you go. There's a, there's a drifter. This cave seems to go on. Which is just what we wanted, right? There's a yeah. There's a lot of quartz over here. It Who knows? Is. Maybe there's going to be some silver and gold in this. I don't see any yet, but I've been looking. Oh, we got ourselves uh, some. I think this is black, oh, black coal. coal. Wow, oh, yeah. that's actually pretty valuable. Hey, could you please stop throwing these rocks at me? These are as annoying here as they are in my own world. Yep, they're annoying everywhere. Oh, that's a deep drifter. Interesting. When you're nice. shooting them, I can't hit them. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Makes teamwork a little harder. Oh. This is a yeah. pretty small deposit of black coal, though. This looks like it's going to lead to a dead end, or maybe not. Wow, look at this. Yeah, it just keeps going. Oh, uh, no. Okay, now we're back over here. I guess we could turn left and uh, see what's yonder. I think it uh, there's more coal than uh, it, it shows. It must be going all the way in all the walls. Yeah, it must be. But this oh, is we got a big hole. Oh my. And a wolf. That's a hole. Yeah. Let's go across uh, first and then up. Or sorry, across yeah. and then down. I, I could have pushed you off that bridge by jumping over, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Thank you for not doing that. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Although it would have been funny. Uh, I am still a guest over here somehow. <laughs> still don't know how I ended up here. This is and, uh, Rick's my got world a lot of answering all. to do. Yeah, he does. You need to take him to task for that. I'm going to kill this uh, this little bridge we have here. We also have something throwing things at us. I'm going to put down some temporary ladders here. Yep, go ahead. Okay, no lava. Uh, no lava. <laughs> Is that how you do lava check? Yep. You know lava glows, right? Yeah, but it's kind of dim, you know. And, well, a dead end. Yeah, that's a dead end. Okay. Yeah. At least it's not clinking when you're climbing up a ladder. That's a, a little moment's piece that we have. It's the elevator feature. And uh, yeah, eventually when you get the time, just throw me back my arrows uh, that you oh, yeah. kindly made appear in my inventory when I warped here. Your arrows, hmm? Uh-huh, my arrows. Your arrows, yeah. okay, sure. Yep, let's uh, go on. I can hear Hello, some more friendo. friends. Boop. Oh, he's dead. You booped him. Hey, there's like a little crevice right there. I wonder if that's worth checking out. This looks uh, somewhat yeah, familiar, familiar This is very familiar. You are correct yeah, about that. Very familiar indeed. Yeah. Oh, well, dead end. This is a dead end. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe we can go and uh, find some other fabulous caves where we can actually find some goodies. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you've heard about these uh, jo Jonas parts. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been looking for here. Is yeah. we're looking for things that contain those. And um, just a word to the wise, they're dangerous question mark sometimes uh, how so well there are creatures uh i hesitate to call them creatures but there are things that have saws on their behinds and oh, you mean the, yeah the saw buds yeah they can drop jonas parts sometimes if you uh, dismantle them and is there anything up here never mind uh brown coal brown coal 
<laughs> Party marked. Oh my. Wow, they're stinked up. Yeah, they are. They must smell us. Maybe. And they definitely they definitely hear you though. Well, I haven't bathed in about uh let's see, three years, so yeah. That's a smell. Yeah, that's the smell. I mean mixed up with my aroma, I guess that uh must be quite terrible. Yeah, is that is that O de Limburger that I smell? Uh something. Oh we got we got ourselves another one of your friends. Ah. Well have we been down this way long. yet? I think we have, haven't uh, we? Uh yeah, we've pretty much checked out everything okay. out there, I believe. All right. Well, I think we can go I to think the we next need to... cave system then. Do you have any locations marked with uh, locust nests? Unfortunately, no, I don't. Well, there is the one where I got Bert. There's only one there, and I want to keep it. I guess I need to make another Bert. Bert mm -hmm. is um. We well, didn't meet Bert, did you? Uh, I kind uh, of we didn't have a Bert. locust. He's, Bert. Um, he's a friendly locust. He lives in my house. And Ooh. maybe we can go back and, and meet him real quick. So this is Bert. Don't don't shoot him or anything. This is Bert. Oh, whoa. Hi. Yeah. Uh, See the green eyes? What, it means he's good. He's he's friendly. Yeah. What's he what's he doing? What 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 is wrong with him? I don't really ask questions about Bert too much because um he does weird things like he just sort of scoots along the ground while folded up and yeah, it's it's kinda is weird. He, is he making a web or something? He or? might be. I haven't seen any webs. He's been there for years. So he oh. must be a really slow web spinner. Here, tell you what, Bert. Have a cobweb. Yeah, there, there you go. I think he's happy. He stopped. There we go. Much better. Oh, yeah. He's, he's liking it. All right. Shall we go to the next one as I go the complete wrong direction? Lead the way in the right direction this time. I will try. I'll do my, my level best. So the next place is one that I've been to a few times, but I haven't fully explored it. There is a chalk sort of region on the other side of this. So let's mm. take a look-see. All right. Hey, uh, you mind if I grab some of this chalk and bring it back home with me afterwards? I thought you said you couldn't bring stuff home with you afterwards. But I mean... I, I don't know. Sure, I mean, I did come through with a couple of things, but uh, yeah, maybe by the end of this, I might grab a little bit and... Uh, Test it out, you know? So I've been up a little ways. There's also oh. some other places to go after going up. I have not been down at all. Except for well, there's right obviously here. something there. Yeah. Shall we uh, Shall we yeah. descend? Yeah. And uh, what is this dry... Oh, that you put that there. Yep. I mined some coal here. This goes deep. I think I can get us down pretty safely. Let's try these ladders here. And I think we're pretty good. Oh, well, there's, there's some, some copper. Uh, copper here. Yeah. Let's see if I can break us a bit of a root down. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, I found that. my root down. That, that's bad for that's your knees. <laughs> oh, I think we have some olivine down here. Oh, really? Ooh. A lot of it. Well, oh, I mean, nice. are, are, you, uh, are you currently in the steel making process? I'm in the business. I've actually kind of gotten most of the olivine that I'll ever need. It could be worth taking a poke with a prospecting pick to see if there's any peridot gems in here. Peridot gems? Yeah, you can find some peridot. Well, Ooh. no peridot, but there's borax nearby. Borax is always nice oh. to have. Let's go see what waits um, us down there. Surely it's safe. Ooh, this, oh, this uh, I think we'll need a... Yeah, this goes really deep. That, go, ooh, that goes down to the bottom of the world, doesn't it? Yeah, that is bedrock. Do, uh, do we want to go down there? Sure, why not? You might want to have your big bad armor. Uh, yep. Putting it on. Let's see. I'm going to put our ladder down right here. Yeah, did you have enough ladders? I did. And there's nothing here. Well, I mean, I am hearing some growling. That means there's something nearby. Yeah. Do you want to see if we can dig, dig over to it? Oh, yeah. It's over that way. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's a cave. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, uh, friends. Yeah. There. Oh, my God. It takes so much time to draw my arrow, my bow. <laughs> There's one down. It's like a shooting gallery. Oh, yeah. Free meat. Well, I don't know if you need some um, temporal gears, but this could be a good place to grab it. I'm actually pretty full on them. So I'd say if you need them, then go ahead. But uh, I don't know if you need them or not. Uh, 
No, not right now. I have found myself a little bit still, but uh, I like to find them over in my world. Oh, we got some friends above. Oh, yeah. There's somebody yeah, up there. Yeah, drawing this, drawing this bow is painfully slow. That's a tier two drifter. Yep, sure is. Yeah, I think I might need to bring out my my fox for this. So we got we got some neighbor, native copper down here. It's very pretty in that basalt. I'm gonna grab this emerald. Oh, what is this? I have never seen this before. Ooh, wow. I'm gonna grab the block itself. I think that'd be really cool oh, to okay, have. Okay, you're not gonna. Yeah, you're not gonna grab. Oh, you. Uh, yeah, you got it. Absolutely. And uh, okay, we got two pathways here. Oh, that one Let down just, there is uh, dead end, so I think we're good. Oh, there's okay. I see. We have three. We have up, and we have up and over. Yeah, we got this over here. This uh, this is a long. Oh cave. my, it is. Oh, Ooh. hello, friend. Is that some more chalk up there? I think so. Well, I see you got things under control over there. Yeah, with this armor, even though I'm kind of not the best combatant, I can still tank some hits. It does look to like it's. It does look like it's just chalk, so. Okay. Let's go up, up or here. Down. Let's go up. If we find any saltpeter, I wouldn't mind stopping and grabbing some. Oh, hey, like this one piece of saltpeter. <laughs> that's right here. Jeez. Well, that's <laughs> two. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Give it some credit. <laughs> I might have uh, grabbed one. I think that's you did. okay. I'll give, yeah. it, I'll give it back to you over there when we get back, when we get back to your place. And we got a uh, level four oh, my. nightmare you drifter. Oh, back up there. Yep. Ow. Got him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's a gear. I'm wearing my silent armor. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Uh, well, I, I think my kidney is still inside me at this point, but I can't say much more than that. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're done here. Yep. Aren't you going to go and uh, salvage this guy or try to get some gears out of him or you don't need it? Well, it's not just that I don't need it. It's that, um, well, I find that if I leave their bodies there, their friends don't show up. It's like a warning to their friends. Oop, I shot you in the back of the head. Don't I didn't feel a thing. Oh, there's a level three. Yep, he's toast. There's oh, another there. one over there. There we go. Yeah, you, you're doing quite well for uh, somebody that's not used to cave dwelling. Well, I did have to clear out the caves below my house to get the translocators, so... I have some experience, just not, you know, not the most of it. Well, we've come this way, okay. so I'm going to mark this off here yep. with some dirt pillars behind yep. us. And then we can also go up behind you where you just looked. Yeah, because I don't think there's anything down here. It looks like a dead end. Yeah. Let's do some up right here. And it also is a dead end. And Perfect. a lot of copper still. Yep, a lot of copper. Do you need it or? Not really. I'm just going to mark it up. I've made a bunch of uh, cupid nickel ingots already. I'm still hearing some growling, but I guess that must be in the caves we came from. I think they're... I think they're this direction. You think, you think there's another cave? I do. Oh, there's some copper. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I You're think right. they're above us. <laughs> oh. Oh, they are. There's a cave right okay. over that way. Let's build a little shooting gallery here. Yep. I hey, boys. don't see them. I think they're right above us. There they are. Yeah. Hi, friendo. You see them? Yep. I caught his foot. Mm. I clipped his toenail he off. Cut his foot. Oh, that is rude. Yeah. You might want to put your big bad armor on. I'm probably just going to bust this Will open do. and go get him. Sounds like a plan. Going in. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. Torch down and up we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, I thought he was a it's big a, bad one. He's a yeah. He's a tier three. It's not as bad. He looked like a tier four from where I was. He was bigger in photos. Uh, yeah. Hey, but look at that. Some more salt, more salt eater. eater. Yeah. Yeah. You I've been looking for that. this. I could get a shovel out too, couldn't I? Uh, why? Why do you need that? Are you making some pickled food? No, that's salt. Salt Peter's for, shall we say, oh. fertilizer. Oh. Yes. Okay, so you're making fertilizer. Fertilizer for uh, fertilizing shrapnel into things. Yep. Mm. I'm going to fertilize Sounds. the heck out of things. Well, so I haven't actually been up a whole lot. Like I've been up to the surface. There's a path to the surface here. But there are also some big holes that I have not really fully explored. 
Well, so we can pick some of those out. Sure. Oh, that's the. Is this the that's, way? That's a quarry. No. Okay, and, that's where you're collecting your chalk blocks. Mm -hmm. And also a quarry up here for my basalt. Pretty sure over this way, if we pop down here. Yes. Hello, friendo. Yep. Yep. Trying to kill him from up here, but apparently you got you got things under control. Uh. Well. Okay. Well, I haven't been back here before, but now I can say I have. And there's some zidian rocks. Yep. You'll always find that in basalt. You're like a fountain of knowledge, aren't you? Yeah, or a fire hose, some people say. I think that's a good comparison, but I'm not really sure. And uh, aside from that, if we go through the surface, are there any other known caves? Mostly just bears. I'm not scared of bears. You are? We have armors. Oh, no? well, true. We are wearing full plate armor. I mean, um, if I'm looking down the map here, I'm not seeing a whole lot, but you must have a couple of things marked down. I actually haven't been here a whole lot. We could go up to the surface and take a quick peek around. Yep. Uh, I would suggest you change armor, though. Uh, not with the bears around. But I, for some reason, cannot get... Oh my, I just got bumped. Uh, I think... Yeah, I, I got bumped as well before. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm pressing the wrong buttons on my keyboard. Yeah. Stop tripping over them. Yeah, I probably should. Let's see. I think I see a cave to the north. I'm pretty sure. I think sure. I see a light, a light over there. Is there yeah. like a traitor? There's a traitor that way. I don't think I've visited huh? him before. No, I have. Let's go north, though. So I think I see what looks like a cave in the snow. Well, no cave here. I don't know what I saw on the map. It looks like there's a cave on the map. It's like a weird patch of dark colored stuff but uh yep nothing not, not seeing that on my map okay but maybe we can check out our little friend up here with the light i can mark oh, yeah. his actual profession once and for all just just wolves just wolves oh, hello just wolf. hello wolves he yeah, did i'm gonna get rid of you once and for all where'd you go is that is that a oh that's a raccoon hi ah furniture trader he's a door salesman Apparently, and we got some more company over here. Oh, I hear. I thought you killed them all. I got one of them. They uh, do oh, no. fat. I, I dropped Rick. 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 Oh, no. Rick, come back here. Uh -oh. Where are you going? Come back. Uh, bye, Rick. Do you mean to shoot him? Hey, I, can, I can stop him with an arrow. No, 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 no. no? You, don't, you don't shoot him. We got. Well, I'm going to have to capture him later or something. Oh, jeez. Well, there, there he is. He's panicking. Well, Look at him. He does give you Poor a lot of lip, fella. you know. I mean, I, I've seen what he says about you. He just said it again. Maybe it's for the best. Bye, Rick. And no more caves, apparently. I didn't see any along the way. Uh, probably all around the darn place. Sometimes you can hear some waterfalls in the mountains, like over there. If we're looking west of here, there's a big mountain. Yeah, let's go check that out. Uh, I'm not seeing much in the way of caves that we can explore. Let's try over this way. You still behind me? Yeah, yeah I'm behind you. Um, what we wolf. can do... Oh, hello, wolf. Um, there's two wolves. Well, let's get him. <laughs> One down. Two down. All right. Well, now you're wet. <laughs> That's not now good. I'm wet, and I need I need a little bit of healing. We might actually want to run home. One, so that I can dump off stuff, and two, you're going to have to warm up, because it is negative 17 here. I'm fine. But you but are fine saying, now. No, no, it's saying I'm soaking wet. Oh, look, my temperature is dropping. Like a rock. Oh, I hear more right, growling. We just, yeah, we could just build a fire if we have to as well. Well, I also do know of another cave. Hello, Wolfie. There you go. Nice. So yeah, dead wolf I do know of another cave system that we have not explored yet. Oh, uh, more wolves. To. Oh, fun. Yeah. Well, I don't know what he's doing. There's a reason I don't live here. Take me back. I know the way because I've been here once. <laughs> once. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was here actually twice in the same episode. Uh, look at look at this! I got frost showing up around my screen. Oh, that's not Isn't good. That we gotta hurry. Well, let's get you warmed up by a fire in the hearth, up in the kitchen. Get you a yep, warm bowl good. of gruel. Who doesn't love gruel? I I love gruel. So here you go. Let's get this fire going. Um, uh, please come on. Why is it not letting me light this thing? I'm freezing my oh. square butt off. I I put the fuel in the other slot. That's why it's not burning. 
There you go. Tell you what, you sit there. Is there anything I can put away from your inventory? You just throw it at me. I'll go put it away in some chests. Yeah, Ooh, nice. got some. Funny. Uh, got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, I, I think that's it. Okay. I don't think I got anything else. Mostly you grabbed everything. Well, here, I think I have a ladder for you. There you go. All right. I think I'm all warmed up. I got rid of the coldness. I'm not soaking wet anymore. I mean, I, I noticed that your house looks very nice on the inside, but I want to check it out from the outside. I want to see what's up here. Oh, go for it. Take a, I'd say take a tour. Uh, I can show you the tour in a minute yeah. after I put things away. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Wow. That is a very nice windmill you got there. Oh, uh, thank you. That, that is that is some wind power right there. Oh, yeah. It is. But uh, yeah, it's very, very neat. I, it's a very nice hobbit hole. Thank you. So there's actually two more we can go through. One right. in a bauxite area and one other. It's a bit of a hike from here, but it's not too, too far away. And there are some big caves there that we could explore. And here... This will take us to where I mine bauxite. Also, Ooh, where Jasper neat. lives. Aha! Welcome. So actually, I was wrong. This is the one with the big caves. Um, prepare uh, your eyeballs. By the way, this is where Jasper lives? Yeah, Jasper. My good buddy. Oh. Well, uh, that's cool. He sells uh, me nice... resin, mostly. Resin? Resin. Oh, yeah, I got one of those tra yeah. traders. Yeah resin and uh well actually i don't need to buy resin because i got like a big farm of it yeah i wasn't quite so fortunate i'm gonna block that off as usual and shall we go down this way first since it's the sort of nearest to the transicator uh we're okay there you're there you are yeah we can go there to begin with okay i'm gonna get my heavy gear on for a dead end looks like or very nearly dead end yeah we're gonna have wet feet. Well, there's a pathway over here, and there's probably one where you are. Ah, this goes to a dead end, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, on the, fix that. Yeah, yeah, on the other side, though, there is a ah, there's something. There's a there pathway. There is something here. I can hear a bigger waterfall. I think there might be a different path through the walls. Well, there's also another part of this cave that I haven't been down before, either. Oh, my. Ah, uh, across first? Okay. Yep. You gonna right. make a bridge? I'm just gonna actually or dig a bit of a dig it out. ledge, yeah. Ooh. What have we got here? A, a cave. Dead end. <laughs> I don't know what I don't a know whole what to expect. Lot of nothing. <laughs> yeah. So many of those. Oh, hello, oh, friend. Hi. That one never learned to walk, I guess. Wow, just two shots. His way. You have a strong yeah. arm there. And a strong I bow. told you I am the best archer where I come from. You really are. Uh Let's go across again here. Yeah, let's go ahead. More dead. Crack running. Okay. Yep, more dead end. Yep. Boo. Uh, let's go down here. Where, oh, there seems to be a, oh a big hole. We'll just watch yeah. out here. Watch your stuff. I see that. That is, uh, oh, there's a, it's very there's holy. a lot of ways that we can go, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, there certainly are. Holy moly. Uh, Left first, left and up. I think it's a dead, a dead end. Never mind. That was quick. Yeah. Uh, straight or back down? Let's go up, I think. I like covering up okay. first. That way, if we we know if there are places things will be falling on our heads from. We have... A dead end? More path, <laughs> actually. Uh, oh. it, it goes. Oh, my. It goes. It goes. Uh... It, it goes. You're right. Yeah, it uh, goes. Well, let's. I mean, we are here. Yeah, we are. Maybe here. it's going to connect to that uh, other passage that we found that goes down. Maybe so. Ugh. Um. Wow. I'm going to use our temporary ladders, the reusable ones. Yep. Go ahead. I mean, they're all reusable, but you know. Um. Oh my, that's a lot of friends. Oh yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. I'm going to try and help you out as much as I can from Let up me here. Pop some torches down and get my shield out. Come on, hit him. I got him. Oh, he has a body shield. He's using his friend as a shield. That's well, a apparently war crime. because I wasn't able to hit him. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This is wacky. I'm going to yeah, bust it's... through here. Or you can bust through there. You it's... got it. All right. Uh, it's, a, it's a dead end. Yeah. Their hopes, hopes are, are all gone. 
Yeah, Oops and dreams. Vanished. Fully dashed. Oh, saltpeter. Oh, One. Where? Oh, my. <laughs> really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have never had such bad luck with saltpeter ever. Wow. This, this, uh, <laughs> this, these caves are extremely generous. And it dropped exactly one as well. Yeah, well, we think? found it. We went up here to the left. We went. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't go through the crevice. There's a big hole over here. Um, I like big holes. All right, big hole oh, it is. Uh, oh, Sabat. Sabat. Ooh, a Sabat. Oh, nice. That's what yeah, we're here for. He's coming towards me. Oh, crap. Uh, don't come and attack I got him. me. Oh, I'm jumping down. I'm jumping I down. I'm working on it. I'm, oh, yeah. he's following is you. Is he back? Yeah, he has it in for me and my... I can't oh my get him. God. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, he's he's gone. He's dead. I think you took the brunt of that nice. one for me. <laughs> uh, he did drop okay, a, we got... an exquisite planetary gear. Wow. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's a nice quick one. Well, at least you got one of those parts you were looking for. Yeah, I, I, I think, think I didn't have one of those either. Can we bring the <laughs> can we bring the corpse back home? <laughs> I wish. I'd like Put to rebuild on. him. Uh, I think there's a mod for that, right? A what? What's a mod? Something us pro gamers know about. Gamer? What are you talking about? You keep using these words that just don't exist in Hobbit land. So you're saying that there are games about mining and crafting? Yeah, put those two words together and you get You get what, what? All I heard was beep. All I heard was beep again. That's so weird. So should we check out this uh, crevice over here? Yeah, that's pretty much the last place we need to check and look. Oh, more quartz. Nice. And it's you know no what? friends. It's a dead end. Oh, oh I wanted friends. It's dead end friend. I'd like to go this way, but I don't want to go through the water. So let's um hold off on that for now. I'm making a bridge so Mr. or should I say Princess Curzar <laughs> doesn't get wet. Good. Keep my feet dry, please. Got there a nice go. little dry path. There we do. Across. And my feet are nice and dry, mostly. I did get a splash on my toe. So I'm going to dock your pay for that. Well, that was uh, very worth it. Fruitful. Yep, totally. <laughs> oh, well, I think we're about well, at the end here. I see some light. Uh, true. Maybe it's going to go back down on the other side. Uh, nope, not here. And right up here, oh, well. it is Skylight. So, that was quick. Let's go down left first. I'm going to pop up here and plug this waterfall off. It's also a dead end, so I wouldn't bother going too heavy on them. Have All you right. been to the other side here? Nope, I have not been here yet either. Well, let's uh, we sh let's proceed. All right. Smells like another dead end. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? Yes, that, that is very much a dead end. Christmassy scent. Yeah, of dead ends. Yeah. So I think that that's it for this cave. Yeah. That was a bauxite one, right? Yep, that was bauxite. You said there was another one, right? Yep, I know of one more. Actually, I know of a couple more we could go. There's one that's closer to home that I haven't been to, but I do hmm. fall in it part way down occasionally or near it, so it might be worth checking out so I can like investigate and then cover it up then. Yeah, I can still hear you even though you went through the translocator. Oh, that's really weird. Oh, our brains are connected. Oh, yeah, that brain, that mushy thing you said is inside our heads? Yeah, it's what all the empty space is for. All right, let me guess. You're going to have to uh, dump some uh, stuff, right? Yeah, well, if you want to check them out over here, I have some Jonas parts in a box. So in this mechanical parts box, I have all of our Jonas parts and sub-assemblies. I got a few of those as well. Maybe not as much as you have, but... Uh... That's nice. There's a place that uh, you might have in your world, too, I, I don't know, where you might be able to find a lot of them all kind of clustered together. Where's that? Well, have you heard of a library called the Resonance Archive? Yeah, I think I, I heard a, a trader talk about that. Yeah, you should probably follow up on that. You can get some pretty, pretty nice stuff there. And also schematics or a glider. A, a what? A, yep, a glider. It's, it's terrible. Ooh. It's it's actually not great, but um, you can do it, you can build it, and then you can put it in a chest forever and leave it there. Yeah, that's what I'd probably do. I'd go yeah. for a nice big old glide and uh, forget about it forever. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Well, it is nighttime. Shall we go and uh, take a bit of a nappy dap and then head out in the morning? Yeah, I think all this uh, exploring got me slightly tired. Me okay, too. where's my bed again? Uh, uh, I think this is the... Uh, yeah, this is yep, it. There you go. All right. Well, good night, Rakuna. Yeah, good night, Kurzar. 
So let me take you to a place that I have very nearly fallen into on a number of occasions. So here we are. This is the hole that has, well, I've fallen in about four oh. blocks once. A block being Ooh. like, a, you know, a meter or so. Let's pop some more ladders. And this just goes deep, doesn't it? Holy moly. Uh, I have one ladder left, so hope it's enough. Mm. What do we got here? We have a bit of a... Ca ooh! A bit uh, of a... Ooh! Yeah, what um, is that? Uh, come on down and take a peek for yourself. Uh, I, I can't see. There's uh, a K, but I can't... I can't Look, really see. Oh, left. Yeah. Oh, there there's a ruin right over here. Yeah. A translocator. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Money, money, oh, nice. money. Do you, do you have the, the, the things necessary for that? Uh, not with me, but I do. Yeah. That is number four. That is four. Rakuna. Read my lips. The ones that are, that are totally moving. Four freaking translocators in this little area of the map. Jeez. Well, that, that is, is that is crazy. completely sweet. <laughs> uh, get some lights over here. We have a chest with oh, <gasps> some glasses and a tattered linen shirt. Such riches. All right. So before we uh, proceed to activating that thing, shall we go uh, deeper? Oh, your glasses. So. They they yeah. fit you perfectly. Thank you. I thought you might notice them. I might Miss, have a contender Mr. for the cat mask. You know. Shall we, sir? <laughs> shall we? <laughs> shall yes, we proceed? Let's, let's shall us. <laughs> Indeed. All right. All right. Down into the oh, pit we go. I think I dropped a crumpet. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, this is a... There, there's a big opening down here. Lots and lots of drifters. They're all throwing oh, rocks at me for some reason. I don't know why. I'm uh, just uh, shooting some drifters. Uh, just having a good time. I think your crumpet might have fallen down here, sir. Oh, dear. Well, yeah. go get it for me. Oh, yeah? Two could play this game. And we shall. I'm really good at shooting the ground at my feet, apparently. That is, yeah, I do that all the time. All right, uh, <laughs> you can put the ladder down there. Yeah, that is a lot of them. So yeah, many sure of is. them. Wow. Oh, we and got some got more, more still. Yeah. Nice. Wow, this is a heck of a place. Let's light this area up just so we know where up is. Oh my, oh my. Another big hole. Look at that. Dead end. Uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, that yeah. looks like a dead end. Well, okay. Well, uh, we, shall we proceed to another pathway? Yes. No crumpets here. Boop. Hey, maybe not dead a little, end yet. Maybe a little salt to go with it. Oh, great. Well, let's strike them down where they stand. Indeed, we do. That's how they right, talk in, in that place, are you, right? Are you flandering? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> dead end. Yep, dead end. Let's go back. Pip, pip, cherry ho. Once more to the breach and all that. You can go. Oh. Ooh, there's some copper here. It's poor again. Still, free copper. And uh, another dead end. No. Oh. Not hearing any wow. sounds or anything over here. Wow, this cave is boring. Yeah, they all, they're all <laughs> all boring, apparently. <laughs> yeah. We found, what, one ruin? <gasps> and Ooh. salt, Peter. More than one. How surprising is that? Where'd my shovel I'm go? Hearing, there it is. I'm hearing growling through the wall. Ooh. Uh, you have very good ears hearing through a stone like that. What's uh, up? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> very first one. Hello, friend. Hello. Ooh. Oh, your breath stinks. Oh, my goodness. Well. Oop. I don't know why you're sticking so close to these guys. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, what? Got it. Got to take care of it. Light up the area. Yeah. Emergency measures. It's uh, taking a few hits. Watch out! Two more spawning. Yep, I see him. Whew, got him. Oh, Much the bell fun. is dead. Yep. They make a oh, very high pleasant noise when they die too. Did they give you some uh, Jonas parts, or? Well, let's pause a moment and talk about that because the answer is no. However. In version 1.19 of Vintage Story, there is a change coming where bells and double-headed drifters will start dropping Jonas parts. No word yet nice. on how prevalent it'll be. I don't know if it's going to be everyone like the sawblade locusts, or if it's just going to be a random chance for the occasional one. But it will be possible. I am just going to go up on ahead 
and investigate, but that no, there's one piece of salt meter. <gasps> oh my goodness. One piece again. Be still my No, no two of them drop. Two Ooh. drop. So up here, I did spy another path we can dig through if you're interested and have the time. Yeah, sure. Let's okay. go and uh, hop in there. It's right through here. There is a pathway down here. Seems very saw buddy. And oh, very saltpetery. Salt oh my goodness. Yeah, you can make a All lot of right. fertilizer with this. Yeah. Let me. Oh, this place is covered in it. Oh, really? Nice. It's very dark and ominous. I can see light oh down there. So can and I. Now I see even more light. It's your torch. I think I just saw something just explode down there. I'm not scared. Just a little fear pee, but that's all. Oh, the, there's a torch standing down there. You've been there. I just threw it down here. Wait, that. No, that one is standing. Maybe we've been down here. Yeah, we've been down here for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I recognize where we are. I think this is just. Yeah, here's our ladder down <laughs> where we were before. <laughs> oh, okay. So we just didn't see that that yeah. went up. Okay. Okay. I'm going to remove a couple of these bottom ladders so you might want to get started. Now, is this. Oh, there's a ruin up here. Ooh. A shinies. little one. A little one. Uh, you but got a an aged torch holder over there. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Linen sack and a scroll. You might want to grab that. I'll take the scroll. Linen sack can stay. And, and I uh, am definitely yeah, here some... for some of this wood. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. go ahead and grab it. And what do we have up here? Oh, look. Hey, you know one of these wow. uh, cinnamony, smelly, yeah. uh, and dead ends? I thought I could uh, smell those warming spices. Oh, dead end. Never mind. Yeah, no crumpets here. No crumpets. Well, I think we've pretty much checked this whole cave system out. Let's see if we can figure out how to get home. Yeah, through the translocator. You want to do it? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Hey, uh, wait wait a second. I think the trader's talking to me. Oh, really? You found my raccoon, you say? Apparently, she just gave me my raccoon. Oh, there you are, Rick. You little feisty my raccoon. Oh, my goodness. You found him. I thought he was miles away. Oh, apparently, he was trying to steal her food. How surprising is that? Or maybe even... The socks as well? Yeah, that's totally Rick. Well, I, I guess that, uh, yeah, let's get to you. Uh, let's go and put the th stuff away. And after that, uh, let's grab the temporal gears and check out this new translocator. Okay, well, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, fix her up. And then if you want to do the honors, you can give it a whirl first. And then um, tell me if it's safe, right? Yeah, I will. Okay, good, good. Should be safe. I'll clear it out. Excellent. It is warping space time. And, uh, yeah, the little blue, blue drippy thing is going to happen. Yeah, get your shower. Is it, is it ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like let's, it is. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Uh, are, you, are you spinning? Yeah. Um, so how is it over there? Uh, Rakuna? Rakuna? Where'd you go? <gasps> what? Rakuna's gone? Where, where'd he go? Back to his own world, I hope. Well, maybe on to the next. Well, Rakuna, if you're in the afterlife, I'll think of you. Once or twice. Well, I guess we should go and see if his... Oh, his remains could be over there. Well, I'm not ready for that, but let's go see. Let's go find out. Not a trace. Just... Just gone, just like that. Wow, what a cruel world. What a cruel world. Rakuna, you'll be missed. You'll be missed dearly. <sighs> well, everyone, it's been... It's been several hours, and it's morning now. I don't... I don't think he's coming back. And there's a temporal storm approaching. Oh, I hope he's okay out there. I hope he isn't caught. But maybe... Maybe that's how he got home. Maybe the temporal storm is what is needed to get him to and from our world. I wonder if there is one in his world at the same time. Maybe someday we'll find out. We better get out of here and sit through the temporal storm. Maybe even sleep through it. Didn't he talk to the agriculture trader about Rick? Maybe Rick's still here somewhere. Uh, excuse me? Yasukalo, whose name I never forget. Ever, ever. Do you... Do you know where 
Rick is. Yes, the raccoon. Uh-huh. Okay. I could try over there? Sure. Okay, thanks. Thanks for wishing me well. Um, well, okay, let's go see if we can spot the raccoon over here that he said was wandering around. There you are. Rick, are you Rick? Rick, are you Rick? Do you know where Raccoon went? Do you? You're not... You're not answering me, are you? You there! You there! Are you Rick? Are you Rick? You've got to be Rick. Come on, you're, you're in the right area. You've got to be Rick. Please tell me you're Rick. Can you tell me where Raccoon went? You! You there! Uh, please stop. Wait, I've got a, a, a crumpet for you. I think. Are you Rick? Please tell me you're Rick. Come on in. Oh, don't let me chase you into the forest. You don't know either, do you? No, oh, hush you. The wolves are making fun of me. Well, everyone, I, I think this is probably... Probably farewell to Rakuna, the only... The only other Seraph I've seen in this entire world since I was born. Can you believe it? I use the word born kind of liberally. It's just so sad to see a friend go. I think I'm tearing up. I just can't take it. I just... I don't know what to say. <sighs> Alright, temporal storm. Gotta save our own butts. Okay, sorry, Rakuna. We gotta think about ourselves. Which I'm great at doing. So we're gonna get in here. We're gonna close ourselves in and have a bite to eat. And then we will sleep through this temporal storm. And then wrap the episode. Well, let's go ahead and I guess we'll hang up our armor for the day. And now I lay me down to sleep and dream no dreams of delving too deep. For therein lie terror is most dire. My soul, I feel I must lift it higher. Oh, hey, we made it. Sweet. Ah, uh, yeah. That poem? What, what poem? Eh, weird. Anyway, let's have a bite to eat. And then let's go and probably read our scroll out in the living room. What? Rakuna? Rakuna, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I... Get my armor's back. It was the temporal storm. I knew it. I knew it. The temporal storm is what creates these rifts between our worlds. Maybe if I just go and stand in one, I can go to his world someday. But not tonight. Tonight is very scary. And we have a little bit of lore to read. Let's go ahead and read it. Villager stories. We have The Morning, part two of five. One day she dreamt of great storms, trembling earth, turning wheels, and she woke to a new world, one of vibrance, of light, beautiful light, and beautiful green. Here now were the birds and beasts, the fruits and grains, the winding rivers and the great horn mountains. Where before there was nothing, now there was wonder all around. She was the first to walk our world, our home. Thus she came to know joy. But when the sun left the sky and the night fell over the new land, she heard the whispers, the groans, the crunching footsteps of those abominable shades that haunt us still. She then came to know fear, and a dreadful fear it was. She fled into the dirt and the quiet places. Deeper down she went pounded by the foul voices, until she came upon something hidden and strange. There in the dark, she found herself in the presence of a god. Well, everyone, that is the morning part two of five. I think we read that at one point in the first season, and at some point I would like to sit down and read all of these once we have collected the full set of stories, which is likely to involve some treasure hunter traders at some point. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little co-op episode of learning A, how to open your world up to friends and have them connect to you, and the ensuing exploration together with Rakuna. I'd like to give a big shout out and thank you to Rakuna. I had a blast doing this episode. He was nothing short of gracious and flexible, and I had a ton of fun playing together in the guide world. If you're not already acquainted with Rakuna's videos or channel, I've put a link in the video description. If you're looking for more fun vintage story content, as well as other games, go check out his channel and give it some love. Anyway, everyone, that's going to about do it for the episode. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by leaving a like or dropping a comment below. And I'd love to have you subscribe if that's your thing. As always, my name has been Corazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.